Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and in this video I will be going over the new 4K Ultra HD pre-orders and announcements for April 7th, 2023. Now keep in mind release dates and technical specs are subject to change. If there are any changes or additional retail or exclusives, I will update them in a future video. Also be sure to check out my previous 4K pre-order videos for titles you may be looking for and were not covered here. Direct Amazon links to the titles listed in this video when they are live can be found on the channel's community page. Previously, only an exclusive to Best Buy, the 4K edition of Terrifier 2 is getting a wide release, and that date is April 25th. For the grading, it supports HDR and DTS 5.1. It is currently up for pre-order over at Amazon. Disney just announced that the 4K edition of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania is coming out on May 16th. As per usual, for Disney 4K releases, it will be HDR only and Dolby Atmos for the audio. This slipcover edition will be available locally and at online retailers. In addition, Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K steelbook version of the film only available at that retailer. Pre-orders just went live as of the recording of this video, and right now it's only available for shipping, but in-store pickups should follow soon after. And Walmart will also include a unique cover with their version and an enamel pin. This version is currently up for pre-order over at Walmart's website for delivery, and I expect this to show up in stores on release day. The release day for Shazam! Fury of the Gods has been announced from Warner Brothers, and that day is going to be on May 23rd. For the grading, it will support HDR and Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos for the audio. The slipcover will be available locally and at various online retailers. Walmart will have an exclusive 4K version of their own, which is currently up for sale over on their website. This is also expected to be in stores. And Best Buy, of course, will have an exclusive Steelbook edition of the film, and that too will be available at that particular retailer. It is also currently up for pre-order on their website. Also slated for release on the same day, Cree 3 will be making its 4K debut, and as far as grading goes, expect HDR and Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos for the audio. The slipcover is currently up for pre-order over at Amazon and other online retailers. The battle between Walmart and Best Buy for exclusives continues with Cree 3, as Walmart will also be getting a unique version of the film only available at that retailer. And once again, Best Buy will be carrying a Steelbook edition of the film. That too is currently up for pre-order over on their website. Shout Factory announced that the original Creep Show is coming to 4K and the release date for that will be June 27th. Now, while official tech specs have not been announced, I'm fully expecting both HDR and Dolby Vision and the same DTS audio that's available on their Blu-ray version. And this was a bit unexpected, as Motel Hell will also be coming to 4K on the same day. Once again, HDR and Dolby Vision, and DTS for the audio. Some early July announcements are starting to leak through various online retailer sites, and while we don't have artwork for many of these, I still feel that the announcements are worth talking about. So starting with Paramount's release of The Truman Show coming to 4K, now, I'm seeing the release date possibly either July 4th or July 11th. Either one of those could be the actual release date, and when that becomes firm, I will update that in a future video. This being a Paramount release, expect HDR and Dolby Vision, and I would say the same audio that's present on the current Blu-ray. I'm also seeing rumblings that the Battlestar Galactica film from the 70s will also be coming to 4K, and the release date will be... July 11th, at least according to retailer listings. And Michael Bay's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film from 2014 will also be coming to 4K, and that release date is scheduled to be July 25th. I expect HDR and Dolby Vision for that, and maybe an Atmos track. We're not sure of that, but once again, stay tuned to the channel for additional information. Previously released from Paramount as part of their Paramount's Presents line, the original War of the Worlds from 1953 is getting a standard release, and that release date will be July 25th. It will have the same tech specs as the previous edition, which means HDR and Dolby Vision and DTS for the audio. While we don't have an official release date as of this recording, it looks like the 4K Blu-ray of Daughter of Death is coming out sometime in the near future. I expect this to be released sometime in early summer, and this also might be a particular website exclusive, but I will have more information in a future video. While we don't have a firm release date yet, Blue Underground announced that Bob Clark's Death Dream is coming to 4K sometime in the near future. As with most Blue Underground, I would expect HDR and Dolby Vision and DTS for the audio on this release. 
And while I covered this a few videos ago, it looks like the firm release day for Jaws 2 is going to be announced very imminently, and I would expect this to be coming sometime probably the first week of July. Also, retailer listings for this title have started to pop up over in Amazon France, and also rumors of a Steelbook edition of Jaws 2. So I think, you know, for this underrated sequel, a 4K edition will be most welcome. And once again, stay tuned to the channel for more information. Another imminent announcement possibly for July is coming as the 4K version of American Graffiti looks to be coming sometime in the near future. I'm personally very excited for this one. I believe I had this on a top 10 most wanted list sometime in the past. So I'll be very excited to see a 4K version of the film. In last week's video, I covered the Best Buy Steelbook edition of the Super Mario Brothers movie coming out sometime in the near future. Well, in this week's, we're going to be covering the Walmart exclusive. Now, this collector's edition looks pretty interesting, and honestly, this looks like nightmare fuel for shelf collectors, but it's an interesting design nonetheless. Walmart currently has this up for pre-order, so head on over to the website if you're interested in picking up the exclusive. It's time to go over this week's international pre-orders and announcements, and also keep in mind that most 4K discs are region-free and they will play in most US players. On June 21st, it looks like Japan will be getting a 4K edition of Seven Samurai from director Akira Kurosawa. Now, before you think about importing this one, you may want to wait for a US release because it does not appear that English subtitles will be available here. I wouldn't worry though, either Criterion or Kino Lorber will definitely pick this one up, but for those in Japan, your lucky day is going to be on June 21st. Also from Japan, the Ultra 7 series will be getting a 4K release, and that date is going to be July 7th. HDR has been confirmed to be included with these transfers, so I know fans of the series will definitely enjoy it. In addition to a US release, it looks like Australia has a listing for Battlestar Galactica, and their release date will be July 19th. It should have the same tech specs as the US release, but once again, with both versions, stay tuned to the channel when more official specs are announced. Germany has announced that a 4K edition of David Cronenberg's Shivers will be coming out sometime in that market. It looks like these will be available as 4K media books, and there are several different versions to choose from. No word yet if a US release is forthcoming, but I expect that to happen sometime in the near future. And while no release date has been officially announced, it looks like China will have Black Cat, White Cat available on 4K sometime in 2023. It is confirmed that HDR and Dolby Vision are going to be included, as well as DTS for the audio. So those were this week's 4K Blu-ray announcements and pre-orders for April 7th, 2023. Don't forget to use the Amazon affiliate links either in the comments section or the channel's community page if you're interested in any of these titles. And also let me know in the comments what listed in this video are you planning to pick up for yourself. And finally, a special thank you to my Patreons for your continued support. It is very much appreciated. If you would like to support me through Patreon, I will leave a link in the description of this video. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.